Hello, this is Cubition, and this is the first in a quick series of tutorials on how to use the Freeware Music Audio Workstation LMMS, or Linux Multimedia Studio. This is a quick tutorial on how to make your first song, and we're going to be focusing on these two windows right here, the Song Editor and Beat slash Baseline Editor. But before we can use those, we have to go to the settings. When you first install LMMS and the first time you launch it, this should pop up. Buffer size, make sure it's somewhere within this mid-range, unless you have a really fast computer, or else you'll probably get some sort of awful clicking noise instead of music you're trying to do. The other thing that you're going to want to look at is that audio settings. It'll at default be at dummy. Dummy is no sound output and it's useless. Um, poor audio, um, most, most computers this will work for. You just have to find the uh, combination of this and this that works for you. And then SDL, you have to type in the device there if you want to use SDL. And that's really all you need to do before you can get started making music. All right, song editor, first thing. These are all a bunch of things that will definitely look confusing. Unless you're familiar with some of the terms, it won't be very helpful to you. So we're going to not really think about those right now, and we're actually just going to delete all of these except for the triple oscillator. The triple oscillator is a digital instrument that we will, that I will explain on a separate tutorial later. Right now we're just going to worry about the piano rolls where you actually insert the notes. So if you just click there and then double click on that little black box that pops up there in the, in the song editor, you get this piano roll. The piano roll is essentially it shows notes in a time and a pitch sort of graph. So this axis right here is time and it's measured in bars and basically note values. Um, this is, well, it looks like a sideways piano because that's exactly what it is. These, dem these uh, represent the different notes on your instrument. So. So, while well, playing that is makes noise, yes, that's not really what's going to be useful. What's going to be useful is this area right here. So, try not to click down here because we're not going to use that yet. Right here is uh, where you're going to want to click, and you just click, and a note appears. And hit play. Now you can move a note by clicking and holding on it and moving it up and down. You can move it by moving it side to side with the mouse. And you can lengthen and shorten it by holding your mouse over the little white bar on the end of the note and dragging back and forth. Now you'll notice that there's kind of a limit on where it snaps to. Um, that is called quantization and it's up here. Um, it affects how much it snaps to and how much you can move it. And most of the time it's good to have it on 1 16th because that makes it so it only snaps these little bars. Because you can do 132 or 164, but it means you can move it by minuscule amounts and size it by minuscule amounts. Which is handy if you're do doing some sort of freaky fast melody or whatever. But anyway, the idea is most of the time you're going to want to keep it on one of these higher values. So that way you can get a general idea down before you start messing around with that. But if you do need to resize it or move it to something smaller, you just edit this quantization thing. Um, so, and then it's really simple. The piano roll, that's all it really is. You just put notes down. So you can just put in a basic melody like that and then hit play. But say I don't want them all to be the same note, I can zoom in. You can hold down control and then use the mouse wheel to zoom in. Um, and then... I 
can resize these and make it so that they're different note values. And and thus that works. So that's the quick tutorial on how to use the piano roll. But however, we also have this device here called the beat slash baseline editor. And usually that's where you have your drum beats and whatever, because it's essentially just a looper. You design a little sequence like that in here, and then you place it and it repeats itself. So it has a bass drum in here by default. And we can just click, and if it's on, then it'll play a note. If it's not, just kind of like a simple step. And then you can fill that in. And then... Oh, my, that's a bit loud. But, uh... So we'll just... The triple oscillator is just kind of loud by default. So we'll learn how to tune that down later, though, in the triple oscillator tutorial. But the B slash baseline editor is really similar. You can actually open up this little bar, my samples, and go into drums, and um, and put another drums and stuff, and you get something like this. So that's really all there is to the B slash baseline editor. It's very simple, very clean, it's nice, and that's a piano roll. And so that's really the fundamentals to using the program LMMS. All right, thanks guys.